try mine. Because my God yet still alive. And he's on the right hand of the Father making intercession for me with my crazy tail messed up. Y'all not helping me here. You ought to thank God that God is praying for you. Hallelujah. Even though the devil desires to have you and to sift you like wheat, Jesus said, I'm praying for you that your faith fail you not. Grab somebody tell them, my faith is strong, honey. You don't even know who I am. I'm going through hell and high water, but I ain't getting up, and I'm getting out of this window today. I ain't got no help here, but I'm going to preach myself happy today, y'all. Because, listen, you ought to be excited. You ought to be happy in Jesus because when you come to the house of God, you're learning about our creator. You're learning about our savior. And we are worshiping, watch this, a Lord, God, God of matter, who has given us eternal life. And that right there is enough to give God the best praise that you have. Yeah. Walk in here with a praise. Walk, walk in here with thanksgiving in your heart. Y'all not saying that. Don't walk in here looking and, and, and spectating. And, and come on, talk to me here. And you ought to come in inspecting, folk. You ought to come in expecting something. Don't inspect, but expect to be blessed. And watch God bless you. I got a quiet church, but I feel like preaching myself happy. And I'm going to go home. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, don't inspect expect and watch God bless your socks on. Can I get a witness here? I said, can I get a witness here? Tell somebody, God gonna bless me whether you like it or not. And don't you hate elevate. Come on, y'all. Don't, 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 don't you hate on me right now because when God bless me, he gonna bless me and I'm gonna bless everybody else. Hallelujah. I'm trying to keep my cool today. But I'm so excited. I can't be cool when I get in the house of God. Because you weren't there when God saved me. You weren't there when God changed my life. You weren't there when God delivered me from them drugs. You weren't there when God pulled me out of that curve. You weren't there. That's why I praise him like I praise him. That's why I'm excited when I walk in the house of God. Because many years ago I was walking in some woman's house. You say amen. That's why I'm excited. That's why I praise. That's why I get rejuvenated. That's why I come to the house of God. Because I'm looking for some people that's expecting to be blessed. I'm looking for somebody that can agree on some things in my life. And when we get together, God says when two or three get together, touch and agree on the same thing, I'll be in the midst and I'll bless you. Come on, somebody. Anybody need a blessing? I said, anybody need a blessing? You know what you're looking for. Grab somebody and say, pray with me. And praise with me and watch God. Bless you, so be seated. So when you come to church, your face ought not be looking like you're sucking on limits. It's a celebration, y'all. It's an exciting time. You may not like my preaching style. You may not like our music, but it's not about us. It's about him. Come on, y'all not saying nothing. Uh-huh. It's about God. It's about making God an audience. It's about making God our audience audience. It's about worshiping. Here it is. A God who sent his one and only son to suffer and die on a cross that you and I can have eternal life. Are y'all getting this? Come on. I'm over here. Don't get distracted. So our text reminds us that there was an urgency. The Bible says now Paul uh, was in Troas and, and on the first day the Sunday they came to break bread. In other words, every Sunday was communion. I know every first Sunday for us is communion. But every Sunday they came together to break bread. Uh, and the Bible says that this was this Paul's last visit to Troas. So it was an urgency to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to those people. To get them out 
of where they were in bondage. Glory to God. Paul wanted a people saved in Troas. This was Paul's last visit here. Paul was leaving the next day, the Bible says, on tomorrow, and he knew that he would not see these people of Troas again. Now, and so, so this in mind, I, I want you to know, I don't know if I'm going to ever see you again. Some of you can walk out of that door and fall flat on your face and die, and I see you never again. So when you're coming here, I'm excited. I'm I'm, I'm full of urgency to get everything I can to you so that when you do die, you won't go to hell, but you will go to heaven. Right? There's an urgency. There's a spirit of urgency. I don't have time to wait. I can't relax. I can't chill out because this may be my last time to preach the gospel to you. And at least you can do is receive that which I preach. Because I'm only preaching Jesus crucified. Y'all not getting this here. The power of the Holy Ghost is in me right now. And as I speak the words of life to you, I need somebody with an open heart and say, Preacher, I will see you everywhere. Coming out the mouth of God. Uh, what are you saying, preacher? Coming out the mouth of God. I'm your mouthpiece from God. And when I preach, the oracles of God comes out of my mouth. I wish I had 10 people right there would clap your hands and say amen. Come on, that's a place to praise break right there. Um, that you got a mouthpiece of God speaking the oracles of God in an atmosphere that's conducive for breakthrough. So now our text reminds us that there was an urgency. Uh, God in Paul there was an urgency to share the gospel to the people of Troas I'm not come to tell Liberty House today uh, uh, that we have to have the same kind of urgency when it comes to sharing the gospel uh, don't have the urgency to get the new house the new Ah, the new boo, yeah. ah, boo can't save you. Yeah. You got to have an urgency to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Man can't be saved from their sins lest they heal the gospel. Yeah. And you ought to be thankful that he died one Friday night. And the Bible declares that they put him in, I'm preaching Jesus today. They put him in the grave, glory to God, and he died. But the Bible declares, early Sunday morning, the Bible declared that he got up with all power. I'm preaching hard today, y'all. Uh, I got an urgency. You're going to hear the gospel today. Uh, you left with no excuse today, honey. Uh, it's time to give your life to Jesus and get out of that window uh, before you fall and die. Uh, God, I'm throwing it out there to you today. Uh, it's up to you to take it or leave it. Uh, but God told me to tell you there's going to be some folk that walk in this building today that's chilling in the window. Uh, God, when I come to tell you, I got an assignment to snap you out of that window and you shall live and not die uh, to declare not, don't give it to me yet boy I feel like working a little bit uh, can I help somebody this morning uh, when, when, when you go to work uh, don't go there to work go there to witness but while you're there work uh, when, when you go to school don't go there to learn go there to witness but while you're there learn uh, when you go to the grocery store, don't go there to shop. Go there to witness, but while you're there, shop. <laughs> Grab somebody, tell them it's time to be urgent with your witness. <laughs> People are dying everywhere we go. <laughs> Julia, don't go there to work, baby. <laughs> go there to be a witness, <laughs> but while you're there, work. work. <laughs>